بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز ان دس ویڈیو ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ اپ دا ہائیلی اویلیبل ریبڈ ایم پی کلسٹر آن کیوبینٹیز سو فار دیٹ پرپز واٹ آئی ہیو ڈن آئی سیٹ اپ کیوبینٹیز کلسٹر فور نوٹ کلسٹر آن جی کے ای اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈپلائی دا سیٹ اپ ریگارڈنگ دا ریبڈ ایم کیو on this particular cluster and we are going to use the bitnami helm chart so let's begin what i've done i've added a file in my existing repo and i'm going to share the link uh, of this repo with you guys so what you need to do is to follow the steps and simply what you need to do simply download this uh, repo or simply clone it you can download the zip or simply clone it you can do either way and simply extract it so i'm going to Uh, push that guy into this right so let's do that let me remove some of the existing files here right and i'm going to extract it here let's do that so guys what i've done i've uh, already imported my uh, cluster here and we are going to set up the rabbit mq in the rabbit namespace right so uh, you see this is my cluster already imported in lens and we have four node cluster right and this chart is actually extracted uh, i'm going to remove these extra files and simply our concern is with the rabbit and queues so i'm going to press r and simply i'm going to drag this guy here so you see um, we have only directory this rabbit and simply remove this extra bit and what i've done if i do ls you will see that uh, this rabbit and queue is there now i'm going to cd into uh, rabbit and queue So what I need to do, uh, simply um, you need to follow this step. Um, for the username, uh, I'm going to use this username and the password uh, of the management console is going to be this. Uh, we are going to use the Erlang cookie and uh, the Erlang cookie value is going to be this, all right? So simply, I'm going to simply export these and uh, paste it here, right? So other step, before we apply our chart we need to do the helm dependency build command and what it does it will uh, create a charts directory and uh, let me show you that guy uh, let it complete so say it saves one chart so simply if i navigate to this uh, you see it the chart directory is created and this is the date modified and this is the time you see so what you need to do is to simply uh, copy this guy and we are going to use um, the image tag 3.10.13 and to check the images you can simply navigate to the docker hub and check the version so the version which we are going to use for this demo is this version right and simply what i'm going to do I'm going to copy and paste this command, but let me show you some of the stuff. So we are going to um, um, use this command, help upgrade install RabbitMQ in the namespace RabbitMQ, uh, but I'm going to use the Rabbit because I've already done the tested, uh, testing in the RabbitMQ namespace. So let me uh, call this simply Rabbit and let me update this. So you can use whatever you want and and the name of the chart is going to be rabbit and it is going to be in the namespace rabbit values.yml is going to be default but we are going to simply override some stuff so uh, pod manage it pod management policy is going to be parallel replica account is going to be three uh, username is going to be this one uh, cloud geeks and the password is going to be cloud geeks ca lnq key value is going to be cloud geeks uh, ca Uh, metrics are going to be enabled true persistent size we're going to use 10 gigs and the image tag already has shown you so let's do that so i'm going to tell you some of the stuff regarding the policy so uh, if you use this document and let me remove this part so bitnami rabbit mq um, this uh, has more detail and documentation what needs to be done in terms of policy and high availability and everything is there uh, 
is already there i just copy paste it and uh, if you want uh, to read more details you can uh, simply read the details so, uh, okay so that's i need to show you guys regarding the policy management and let me show you that stuff uh, okay so recover the cluster from sh complete shutdown and instead of uh, my own document uh, i need to show you uh, recover so uh, this is the one which i've copied from here and just to uh, give you a detail on that um, you can simply use the official documentation as well as everything is already there so um, if you read that uh, the rabbit mq cluster is able to support multiple node failures but in situation in which all nodes are brought down at the same time the cluster might not able uh, might not be able to self recover so in case we need to use this parallel policy so i've uh, done the best uh, prerequisite as recommended by bitmap itself and in the official documentation of uh, rabbit mq you can read all the uh, definition uh, uh, all the documentation from their official uh, page and so we have applied the stuff so let's try to check and what we are going to do uh, if i navigate to the workloads and let's see so uh, if i navigate switch to as i discussed i've already done the testing in the rabbit mq namespace so i'm going to simply uh, select this rabbit mq namespace three of the pods are already uh, uh spin up navigate to the storage section so we have um persistent volume and the size i'm going to show you uh from the ui so let's do that and uh if i navigate to the workload section right and if you navigate to the power section so what we are going to do uh, instead of rabbit mq i'm going to select rabbit and we have three ports available and it is a cluster so if i navigate to the stateful sets you see three uh three of three is up and available so persistent volume size is going to be 10 gigs as we need this uh, size for this demo and if i navigate to the release section and you see this is the first release uh, we have uh, done so uh, okay and everything uh, what i need to do uh, what i'm going to do actually i'm going to show you uh, stuff regarding the Access of this, so I'm going to simply do the port forwarding to this guy, uh, and it's going to be one five six seven two. So let's do that, and we are we will try to access our management UI, right? So let's do that, and it will prompt us for the username and password. Or I've used the port instead. Um, I would like to use a different port because of the caching. So let me simply uh, remove um, the port forwarding. So click this guy, port forwarding, and I'm going to simply uh, remove the port forwarding. And I'm going to do the port forwarding again, but I'm going to select different port as I discussed uh, because of the caching. So Okay, let's do that again. And I want to use different port. Let's say um, 8080 this time. Let's try 8080 this time and see. So you see it is asking for the password and the username is cloud geeks and the password is cloud geeks ca so guys we have five uh sorry three node cluster and it is highly available and refresh is five seconds and what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to simply 
add additional nodes right and let's do that first of all i'm going to show you some of the stuff regarding the failover and this is the highly available cluster what i'm going to do i'm going to simply remove all the nodes here right so let's do that so what i'm doing here uh, i'm actually removing or terminating all the nodes and let's see whether we uh, are able to recover this cluster because as i discussed this is the highly available cluster and that how easy it is if you use the kubernetes to set up um, the clustering and uh, management in few minutes and uh, we are using the official bitnami uh, rabbit mq helm charts so uh, let's wait for a while uh, till the uh, till all the pods are available you see the state is not uh, running i mean it is in yellow state not in green state so let's wait for a while and what i'm going to do uh, if i navigate to the port forwarding section so uh, okay let it open on port 8080 and let's try to refresh it so you see uh, currently we don't have any uh, actually, i mean ports available so let me remove this port and navigate to the port section right so you see two of the ports are uh, available now three of them are back let's try to access any of the port uh, let's say this port okay what i'm going to do and uh, do the port forwarding to let's say 881 881 to make sure there is no caching that's why otherwise i need to remove the cache uh, to clean the password so it's going to uh, prompt me for the password game okay it's uh, password is uh, okay stored so you see uh, our cluster is back again and you see that time is one minute as we have refreshed uh, five seconds so you see this this is how powerful it is uh, and uh, you can navigate to q section let's say um, add a q uh, let me call this uh, uh, cloud geeks and add that queue okay and you see we have these feature regarding um, the high availability and uh, one thing now i just wanna uh, do i want to add more nodes right uh, let's do that and before i finish this tutorial so what i'm going to do um okay let me simply uh try to use previous command okay let's uh, let's copy this command what i'm going to do let's pay let's paste this in editor i call this rabbit and i'm i want to add more nodes let's say five nodes so let's see how easily we can add additional nodes in our cluster so simply i'm going to paste it here and let's see what's happen so i'm expecting two additional nodes along with two persistent uh, volumes which are the pvc persistent uh, volumes along with persistent volume claims and two stateful sets additional so uh, total is going to be five so um, so let's try to go back to this uh, ui you see two uh, pods uh, spin up and uh, we should have uh, more um, persistent volumes in our rabbit namespace you see two have added and let's navigate to the port section so let's try to uh, uh, let's wait for them to be available and once they are available we should be able to see uh, in our ui because uh, our refresh interval is five seconds so you see one two three four five 
so you see and this is uh, we can easily see uh, from here other uh, parameters definitely you can add from the official documentation for instance this memory or whatever you want to add or uh, do less it, it is totally up to you and, and check the documentation but i just want to show you and the very basic stuff uh, in this demo which is regarding the high availability and cluster uh, cluster creation in the kubernetes um, so that is how we can do that so uh, let me show you in the ui as well so if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel and have a nice day thank you